Let's unbox some fish. Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. Just a quick update on the goldfish that you guys saw me adding to this 120 gallon tank last time. They are doing fantastic and putting a huge smile on my face every single day. Let me show you guys. Look at this. Aren't they just the best? Okay, so this is Nalu. Nalu here is my favorite. Yes, I play favorites, sorry not sorry. The reason is Nalu is so interactive and so friendly and she's always the one that's at the front begging for food. Along with Marshmallow here, Marshmallow has been kind of like her little sidekick. It's been Nalu and Marshmallow together. They are the two beggars of this whole tank and I love them for it. <laughs> then we got Melina back here. She's always just kind of clueless. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, I thought I saw food. Nope, it's just Nalu's tail. She's adorable and uh, yeah, she's just very clueless. She's always just kind of hanging out and then when all the other fish notice food, she'll come over to like a crazy fish, by the way. Um, but yeah, these two little guys, the little peanuts back there, they're doing good and Denzel, he is loving this tank as well. So it's so, so cute to look over here and just see this adorable little ragtag herd of goldfish swimming around and begging for attention at the front of the glass like little Nalu here. So I am absolutely loving it, but that's not the focus of today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some new fish that I got from Dandy Aranda's. As you can see behind me here, I have a couple of quarantine tanks that I just finished setting up this morning. These are two 40 gallon breeder tanks on the Edsall stand from Lowe's. It's actually meant for like garage storage or whatever, um, but they fit the 40 gallon breeder style of a aquariums absolutely perfectly. It's like a really, really snug fit. And you can fit um, two of them right on top of each other just like this. So it's really great for fish rooms where you're kind of low on space. But anyways, I set up two tanks, even though I'm only getting three fish today, because I just want to be able to spread them out so they all have plenty of space and I don't have any issues with water quality during quarantine. Because quarantine is the most critical time where you want to make sure that your fish are um, as healthy as possible and not exposed to anything bad in the water. Once these new guys have been quarantined in their quarantine tanks here for at least a month, then they're gonna move over here into one of the 120 gallon aquariums on my rack here. My plan is to split up my goldfish kind of based on their varieties. So I'm gonna have all my butterfly telescopes here in this tank. And then sadly, I'll have to break up the Nalu marshmallow team here, although it's killing me. I might actually not, but I really want all my pearl scales together in another tank. So they'll go in one of these tanks here and then same with my arandas and so on and so forth. But these guys are so distracting. I absolutely love watching them. And the cool thing is, this is the only aquarium out here on this rack that I can actually see from my dining room window inside my house. So I can even be sitting inside my house watching the fish swim around out here. It's pretty awesome. You guys are the best the best. Here's the new box of fish. These fish have came overnight from Dandy Aranda's. I get pretty much the majority of my fish always have from Dandy Aranda's. There's other good sellers as well, but I just kind of found Dandy Aranda's first and that's what I've loved ever since. Very, very good, high quality, imported fancy goldfish from China. So there's three fishies in here and we're gonna unbox them together and you guys are gonna get the first look at them with me. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm about to burst. But before I open up the box, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to Cynthia from East Coast Ranchu and everyone that donated to the little uh, fundraiser that she did for me after I lost all of my fish due to disease about a year ago. Cynthia secretly went around and organized this little fundraiser for me to get some credit for new fish from Dandy Randas when I was ready to use it. So thank you, thank you, thank you again from the bottom of my heart to Cynthia you're such an amazing sweet person and to every one of you guys that donated so I could get some new fish for out here in the fish room I honestly <laughs> it's hard to even like say thank you because I feel like so 
so grateful that I don't even know how to express it. So thank you guys so, so much. You've really done so much. Oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. You've really done so much for me to help, um, to just help me improve my videos, help me improve my fish room. And um, I, I can't say thank you enough. So thank you guys. But let's open this box of fish and see what we got. Palmer already started helping me open it, I see. What did you do? Huh? That's not yours. All right, let's open this. I am beyond excited right now. You guys ready to meet our new Solid Gold family members? Ooh, another box to open. Here they are. Ooh, I got some goldfish food. Wow, that is a jar of goldfish food, all right. Rapashi Superfood Super Gold. I love using this stuff. The fish go nuts for it. But honestly, any goldfish I've had have gone nuts for any food. So, but yeah, I still love it. Okay, what's going on here? I see way more than three fish bags. Ken, what have you done? All right, I see some movement. Oh, look at them. Oh my God. I can't handle it. I really can't. All right, I'm just gonna cut this open. Cause ain't nobody got time for rubber bands. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he sent me some extras and I'm, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I, this is not a fish that I ordered, but look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? This is gorgeous. Oh my, oh my God. It reminds me of Clyde. It's Clyde 2.0, you guys. Look at that. I've legit never cried for a fish unboxing before, but this might be a first. Okay, wow, that's amazing. Here is the ingot Aranda that I got. It's a black and white, oh my God. Adorable chubby little face of cuteness. Wow, okay, that's one that I did order. Here's another one that I did order. This is my new red and white butterfly telescope. I think, I think it's a male. Look at that face, who wouldn't love that? Oh my God, so precious. This one is one that I did order as well. This is a red and white crown pearl scale. So Marshmallow's gonna have a little pearl scale buddy. Wow. Oh my God, yes, I love it. I love you. And then we've got another surprise. I'm glad I got two quarantine tanks ready instead of just one, cause now I'm gonna need it. <laughs> this is, looks like a red and white lion head. Oh, look at you, you're beautiful. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting this. This is amazing. Thank you, Ken. I just can't even. Too much gratitude right now, I need a break. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that chubby cheeker. All right, let's get these cuties set up in their quarantine tanks. I'm actually going to float their bags. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you will know that I acclimate fish that have been shipped to me simply with temperature, simply for temperature. I do not try to acclimate for other water parameters because that can actually do a lot more harm than good, especially if you don't do it right. If you guys are unfamiliar with what I mean, I'll leave a link on this video to my informational video about how to properly acclimate fish that have been shipped to you. So I'm just gonna float these guys in their quarantine tanks for about 20 minutes or basically as long as it takes for the temperature to match. The bag temperature and the tank temperature have to be pretty close. Ooh, the tank is a little full. I might have to take some water out of that. Got a little more fish than I expected here. <laughs> That's better. Now we're not gonna overflow the tank trying to float the fish bags. <laughs> Here's the little red and white raw slash lion head. Oh my God, look at that face. And then the butterflies I'm gonna put on their own in the bottom tank. This butterfly alone is massive. Look at how big this fish is. It's as big as my face. And we'll get the last one out of here. The little red white butterfly, so cute. So cute. Should be illegal to be that cute. No, it shouldn't, because I love it.
Well, these guys have now been floating in their bags for about 25 minutes, so I'm gonna cut open the bags and let the fish loose. So obviously these guys are still getting settled in. They're doing a little bit of bottom sitting, kind of swimming around erratically, but that's pretty normal. Actually, it's perfectly normal for having goldfish shipped to you. They have a little bit of a recovery time afterwards, because if you think about it, I mean, they've just been bagged up, boxed up in a dark box, and shipped halfway across the country in a lot of cases. So they had a bit of a bumpy ride, and they're just gonna have to recover and settle in over the next couple of days here. Something you do wanna watch out for when you're getting new goldfish shipped to you is rattiness in the fins, especially on the fin edges after they've arrived. That's a really, really normal side effect of shipping. I don't know how well you can see it. They're not really cooperating the best right now, but on most of these guys, the edges of the ends of their fins are just a little bit ragged. Not to the point where I would say it's an infection. It's just like a little bit of an irritation from being bagged up in those shipping bags and being in the shipping water. Even though it was a really short time in the shipping bag, it was literally just overnight because they arrived to me in the morning and they were shipped out in the late afternoon or actually maybe even the evening, the early evening yesterday. So even though it was a really short time in shipping, that little bit of time can cause that tiny bit of rattiness or raggedness at the edges of their fins. So just something to watch out for. If it's any worse than this, you might even want to try treating it with just a little bit of salt in the water. There's a lot of resources online for, for where you can find out how much salt to use and whatnot, but for now, I'm just gonna observe these guys because I really don't think it looks bad. Sometimes when you start treating fish right off the bat, when they're already a little bit weakened after shipping, it can do more harm than good. So I'm just gonna let these guys settle in for a couple of days and then maybe do my prophylactic quarantine treatment just to see if, uh, well, not to see if, but if there are any hitchhikers, parasites, or any other things like that on these guys, I can nip that in the bud before they go in the main system. But for now, I'm just going to let them be in clean water for at least probably a couple of days just to let them recuperate from shipping. But look at them, they're already perking up quite a bit. I think everything is gonna go smoothly in quarantine. I know that Ken at Dandy Arenas has already had these fish for at least a couple of months for most of them, I think. So they've already done pretty well for him and he's sort of quarantined them himself at his place too. And now I'm quarantining them again at my place just in case, just to be safe. Better safe than sorry, especially with this beautiful new fish room. and the beautiful new tanks with the great backgrounds. Definitely wouldn't want to add anything bad to my tanks, but they're looking really good. I'm really, really excited, and I will definitely update you guys as things progress, and pretty soon I'll be able to add them to one of my new tanks where my other fish are and start kind of spreading everybody out based on their varieties and how I'm gonna have the tanks set up for the long run, so very exciting. So thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in my next video, and until then, stay gold. It's Chris's first time seeing the new oh fishies. God, it's a <laughs> Little toast face. Say what his face looks like again. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a piece of toast. Like a nice sliced bread. Just from front on? Yes.